Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss about the use of down payment in Odo 17 sales module. We know down payment is also known as the prepayment or the advance payment made by the customers to the suppliers. So down payment is mainly used to reduce or to cut down the burden of making a high amount of payment to the suppliers. So this can be easily managed in Odo sales app where you can use down payment using a fixed amount or using a percentage of amount. So uh, let's walk through an example for this. Let's say we have just received an order from the customer for 50 quantity of acoustic block stream. As we have received a large quantity of the order, we know the customer has to make a large amount in payment to the supplier. So in such cases, the customer uses down payment to reduce the burden of paying large amount to the uh, supplier. So let's say he is using a down payment with a fixed pricing. So if the customer has need to pay a $50,000 to the supplier, in such case, he will be making a down payment with a fixed amount of 5 percent days and he only need to uh, pay the rest of the amount while delivering the item. So let's see how can we banish the down payment in Odoo 17 sales module. So let's head into the sales module to manage with the down payment in Odoo 17. Let's move on to the configuration settings where we can manage with the down payment and you can find a section called invoicing where we can set the down payment product. So down payment product is a type of service product. Now we are going to manage with the acoustic block screen and we have re just received an order from the customer for 50 quantity of acoustic block screen. So under the acoustic block screen, we also need to set an accounting which is income account as the current asset account and the type of the income account will be current asset. So um, so upon the invoice creation, the income will be increasing. That's why we are using current asset account uh, over here. Now let's move on to the orders to generate the order. So we have just received an order from the customer uh, wood corner for the product acoustic block screen with 50 quantity. As the customer is making a large a uh, quantity of order he has to make a large amount uh, to the supplier which means he have to give a large amount to the suppliers so in this case he will be using the down payment method in order to cut down the bay i mean the burden of paying large amount to the supplier okay so here you can see that the total amount that cost for 50 quantity of acoustic block strain will be 14750 Okay, along with a 15 percentage of taxes applied and total the customer has to make a payment of 16,962.50. Now let's confirm the order and let's see how the customer is going to make a down payment. In order to make a down payment, you can just click on create invoice where we can create the down payment in different ways that can be percentage as well as in fixed amount. So the first case, the customer is going to make a 50 percentage of down payment. And let's create the down payment over here. So when you just click on create a draft invoice, you can see that an invoice will be created in the draft state. And you can see the down payment uh, amount over here along with the tax that is applied. And the customer has to make a down payment of 8481.25. Okay, now let's see uh, under the journal items here, we can see that the product sale account and the tax received account as well as the account receivable so in case of an account receivable uh, we know that the account receivable uh, comes under the asset uh, account and this account uh, describes that the amount on to the business by the customers for the goods or services that have been delivered but not yet paid okay in simple terms it represents uh, that the money that is expected to receive by a company from the customer so this is the amount that is expected to receive from the customer to the company. So that will be considered under the debit side because as this is a um, asset, as the asset increases, that will be marked under the debit side. Now here we can see that a 15 percentage of tax is applied over here. So in case of tax, tax is considered as a liability. Okay, so in case of a tax, um, for the government, a tax is an asset, but in case of a supplier, a tax is liability. Um, and uh, so that the tax will be marked under the credit side. As the liability increases, it will be marked under the credit side. 
Now, in case of a product sale account, you can see that a product sale account comes under the income account. And income account, we know that that comes under the profit loss account or we can say that it comes under the uh, asset account. So, in case of uh, the uh, income account, as the income increases and upon the creation of the invoice, that will be marked under the credit side and with, which is shown over here. Now, you can just confirm the I mean, uh, invoice and let's make uh, a request for the payment from the customer side. So, for that, you can just click on register payment and here you can see that the journal that we are using the payment method and the amount that is um, going to be paid by the customer and uh, the date of creation of the payment as well as the member. So, let's create the payment and after reconciliation, the payment will be moving to the bank. Now, still, um, when you just move on to the invoices, um, you can see, yeah, the down payment that is made by the customer and let's move on to the sales order and you can see that the down payment product will be added along with the uh, product in the order lines and the amount is also shown over here. Still, the, uh, yeah, the customer opts to uh, pay money to the supplier or to the company. Now, let's see how the customer can make a down payment with fixed amount. So, let's create the invoice over here and you can just use the down payment as the fixed amount and here you can see the amount that is already invoiced and the amount that is to invoice. As the customer has just made a 50% of uh, down payment, the rest of the amount will be shown over here and here the customer is finally going to make a fixed amount of 5000 uh, as a payment and you can just create a draft invoice over here. Okay. So, here you can see uh, the amount that is uh, going to be made by the customer and you can just confirm the uh, invoice and let's make the payment which is uh, which means the customer is going to make the payment of 5000 and you can see that the customer has made a payment of 5000 and under the uh, sales order you would be able to see that um, again that amount will be added with the uh, product in the order lines and we can see uh, two down payments has made by the customer and which is shown here and the rest of the amount will be um, paid by the customer once we deliver the item to the customer so let's make the delivery of the item to the customer so for that we can just validate the process so currently the product is available and we have just done with the delivery and uh, you can just move on to the sales order and let's create the invoice over here using the regular invoice. Now, the uh, customer need to make a payment of 3481.25 to the company. So, you can just create a draft invoice over here and let's confirm that. So, after uh, making the payment, you can see this will be in paid state and after reconciliation, the payment will be moving to the bank. Order 17 easily reduces the burden of paying large amount from the customer side to the supplier side. So hope this concept is clear for you. As always, stay awesome and thank you for watching the video.